Okay, so what we're going to be demonstrating today is we're talking about triangulation. Triangulation using our EM Aware monitors. If you see on the, uh, on the bench top here, we have three sensors. So these three sensors are labeled on the software. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a charge with the zero stack gun and this zero stack guard is going to create a charge close to the sensor and on the software we're going to be able to identify where that charge is coming from which is simulating any issues that's occurring whether it's on a workbench or inside an SMT line so this is going to simulate where the sensor is picking up the charge where we can put the sensors closer and triangulate where the issue is and how we can resolve that issue so if you see here I'm going to put a charge on close to this sensor and we should see the software pick up the charge on this sensor so you see that there I pegged it out at over a thousand volts so we know if we're looking if we're triangulating an issue we know that the issue is close to the sensor which is going to be in this area so as I get closer to this sensor I'm going to put a charge on here there's that metal sensor we're looking anywhere from 290 volts all the way up to 600 volts so I'm going to put another charge on there. That one pegged out at over a thousand volts. Okay. So moving on to this side here. So if there was an issue, if there was a problem in this vicinity here, it's going to tell us what sensor closer we're seeing the issue. So I'm going to put a charge on here. So you see that that was an ESD event. That wasn't just static voltage. So I create the charge here, getting closer to the sensor, put a charge on there. You see that? So now it's picking it up within this area. So what we would do is we'd bring these sensors closer to the area where we think it's at. The signal picks up stronger. We're able to fix, identify and fix the issue utilizing triangulation with the EM Aware. Okay, so during the board uh, construction, it goes through multiple parts of a process, right? Um, the SMP will always be able to find an event and a particular area surrounding it. But without knowing what part of a process as things go by, is it happening at the beginning of the process? Is it happening when the jig is in place, when they test it? Is it happening in different parts when maybe the operator is holding it? Triangulation, you'll be able to test and find the result that happens throughout the production flow and then zero in by triangulating and getting the sensors closer to where all the events are happening. 